Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how-to learning video and I haven't done one of these in a long time, but this is very requested from you guys. You guys wanted to meet. <laughs> You guys wanted me to show you how to do lashes, so I figured I would do a lashes do's and don'ts. And I started doing do's and don'ts videos a long time ago on my channel, and they were so much fun. I think I did, I definitely started with do's and don'ts of eyeshadow, and that video blew up and went super viral, and was a big growing point for me on my channel. And then I did like do's and don'ts of foundation, and so on and so forth. So today we're going to be doing do's and don'ts of false lashes. So you guys have been asking the tips and tricks on them, and how to get it to work and I know false lashes are booming right now and so many people wear them compared to beforehand I think like when I was in high school like that was unheard of people wearing false lashes it wasn't unheard of but people just like the beauty industry has just grown so much so I feel like people love them so much more than they did in the past if you are a false lash lover this video will help you I'm gonna teach you how to put them on how to make them comfortable how to make them stand up and look flirty like you see people on YouTube do I'm gonna teach you all the tricks of false lashes and do's and don'ts so this is gonna be a very educational video and learning experience and I feel like I'm really good person to speak on this because I have made every single mistake there is to make in false lashes so you learn from your mistakes and then you become a very good teacher <laughs> so that's kind of basically my motto <laughs> and I definitely made a lot of mistakes when I started wearing false lashes so I'm here to teach you the tea on lashes and in today's video, I have partnered with Kiss Lashes. They have really affordable, easy to apply lashes, which could not be more perfect for this video. So thank you, Kiss, for partnering with me. You guys are gonna love their lashes that I'm gonna be using while teaching you guys how to put them on. And Kiss always makes the latest and greatest technology in lashes. So they're perfect for this video, and that's what I'm gonna be using. Without further ado, I'm gonna sing my subscribe song, and then we're gonna jump right into the video. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Bye, more. And now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. <laughs> Girl, y'all see it all today. Look at the skin. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, you can see where she didn't blend her foundation. You can see her busted nail. The tea is hot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop being dramatic. Let's jump. Let's let's get started right now. As you guys can see, I don't have a lot of lashes and they point downward because I'm a false lash lover. And so we're gonna be dealing with this today and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it work. First step is don't forget to curl your lashes. If you miss this step, as you can see, my lashes are pointed downward and when the false lash is flickering up, you're gonna see a disconnect. So your first step is don't not curl your lashes, but do curl your lashes. That's the first do and don't. So what I'm gonna do is just take this little lash curler and give it a squeeze. And I like to just do like a one, two, three squeeze. And that definitely gives the lashes a good lift. And that way, not only will they look better, but they'll also mix in with your faux lashes as well. My next don't is a little bit difficult to explain, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. So as far as adding mascara, I like to add a do is to add the mascara before you put on the false lashes and then you can add a little bit more to help mix them in. But I wouldn't put false lashes, the don't would be to put false lashes right on top of your naked lashes and then try to put on a bunch of mascara because chances are you'll probably end up uplifting your false lash as well as getting it goopy and also it kind of gets clumpy and ruins the false lash where you can't use it again because most false lashes are reusable. I'll go ahead and give my lashes a little bit of mascara before I put them on. Today I'm using the Dior, uh, this is the pump and volume one. It's really nice and tacky. Also, if your mascara is soaking wet, a don't is do not just go plop the lash glue and lash on top of it because then all these will get really goopy. I like to apply the mascara, then I'll work on my lips or something else, and then I'll go ahead and go back in once the mascara is dry and apply the false lash. In today's video, I'm gonna be applying two different lashes. To this eye, I'm gonna be applying a more natural blowout lash, and then to this eye over here, I'll apply a triple push-up lash by Kiss, and you guys can really see the difference. The first lash I'm gonna be using is the blowout lash and pompadour so these are super wispy super flirty um, they're really natural looking too so they're not too heavy on the eye I really do like it they have like a salon like blowout to them that's why they're called blowout this is what the lashes look like I normally take a pair of tweezers and just pull right from an end and just uplift 
them from the packaging really gently so they don't rip. I really recommend using a tweezer to do that. I don't want to be just going with your finger because a lot of the time you can just bend it or break it with your finger. My next don't is just, please do not just apply these straight to your eyeball. So if you can see, if I were to apply these straight to my eyeball, it would be a train wreck. These have to be trimmed. Please trim your lashes, trim your lashes, trim your lashes. They are not made one size fits all. All of our eyeballs are different size, so you wanna customize them to your eye. You wanna grab your lash with your tweezer, and then what you can do is put the inner corner where it needs to rest and then you can kind of measure how many sections need to be trimmed off because your lash is not supposed to be hanging off the edge like that. A don't is do not trim from the shorter edge that goes in the inner corner. You always want to trim from the outer edge. If you trim from the short edge, you'll really lose the shape and the prettiness of your lash. Less is more, so if you're not sure how much to trim off, trim off less than you think and then remeasure. And you can always trim off more, but you can't add more lash on once you've already cut it off. So I always try not to get too crazy. I actually know, like I can literally look at a lash nowadays and be like, I know how much I need to cut off. But that's because I wear them every day. If you don't, like be sure and measure and go back and forth with your measuring. I'm gonna apply some lash glue now. Just find whatever lash glue you like is best. This strip lash glue adhesive has biotin in it, so I like to use it, and it is by Kiss. So a don't is I don't recommend putting lash glue all the way at the top up here, but you do wanna apply the lash glue right there on the band where it's gonna set on your skin, so that way it sticks really well, and you'll just add it. I accidentally got a little too much right there, but you'll just add it all the way across. A light amount. You don't, another don't is don't overdo it with the lash glue, girl, because you have a swimming pool of lash glue on your eye and then it all just goes downhill from there. So a don't is applying the lash directly to the eye right after the glue is put on. You definitely wanna wait about five or six seconds, maybe air it around just a little bit to let the glue become tacky. It's gonna make it way easier of a process. So do wait, don't apply directly to your eye. And if you can see, I just laid the inner corner on first and then I just lightly laid the strip as it went down. Just to the shape of my eye. Another don't, you don't wanna apply your lash just straight on like this, like laying forward, because then whenever you look at someone, you're not gonna be able to tell you have false lashes on. You wanna flicker the lash up and then you wanna set it kinda going upward so you really will be able to see the lash like I did over here not straight out because that is just gonna look wonky. So next, what I like to do is just give it a little pinch. Sometimes people have tools that help them pinch. I don't mind using my fingers here. I'm pretty used to doing it. Just give it a little pinch to make sure the real and false lashes are connected. Now you have your false lash attached to your eyeball. What I like to do now is go in with a little bit of mascara and just connect them even better. You don't have to do this step, honestly, but I like to do it. So I'm gonna add it in. These lashes are super lightweight, really easy to apply, very wellable, and it's kind of like a blowout for your lashes and they curl up, so they're very flattering. Next up, we're gonna do this eye with a more fuller lash, and I'm gonna show you how to put on a lash with a little bit of a thicker band. So today we're gonna be using the Triple Push Up Collection. This one is corset. It's really pretty. This has a triple lash pattern in it, which also enhances the volume to find some link and has an eye lifting curl. So I'll remove the lashes the exact same way with a pair of tweezers. So I'll do the same thing. I will measure them, but do you see that little tab at the front of this end? You wanna cut that off, even though that is the inner, inner corner piece or else that's going to poke you and feel a bit uncomfortable. So I guess the don't there would definitely be to don't leave that on and Go ahead and trim from that outer edge. Another don't, you don't wanna apply the lash just like ooh, straight on the eye without curving it because it's gonna flicker up in that inner corner right there. You always wanna take your false lash and give it a little bend, kinda of like that, being gentle with it so it's curved and that way it'll fit on your eye so much more easy without that inner corner popping up. I went ahead and added glue to the edge, which we talked about before, instead of the top. We added it right there on that inner edge. If you can see, this lash is definitely thicker. So sometimes with these, it's easier, or with any lash, it's easier to apply them with tweezers instead of your fingers. So I'm gonna apply these with tweezers. And what you don't wanna do is look or close your eye and have one eye open squinting like this because you're really gonna have a hard time applying it. You also don't want to be looking straight up like this at the mirror because it's gonna be impossible. You always wanna be just kind of looking downward. So I have a mirror right here. I'm just kind of looking downward at it. And then again, I'm gonna place the lash, lifting it upward, not just straight on like this so you can get that full potential glam out of the lash. I'm going to set it on and just enhance the 
attachment onto the outer corner and the inner corner with the tweezers. And as you can see, the lash is really flickering up because I flicked it up and set it down on my lashes. So again, I'll do the exact same thing. You don't wanna just set it and leave it there. You do wanna go ahead and give it a little pinch. That way it does attach to your real lashes. Also with these lashes, if you're applying them on a client, you want to apply them not having the client close their eye. You want the client just to look down and then just apply them. And then you wanna ask the client, is anything poking you? Are you uncomfortable? And if they say no, you've done great. If they say yes, you might have to adjust it, but you don't wanna ask your client, does the lash feel weird? Because let's be real, you put a false lash in your eye, it feels a little weird, which is normal. So this gives a dramatic high impact effect. It has dimensional lift and the lash band definitely, even though it is thicker than this lash band, it still blends with the lash line seamlessly. Again, I'll do the same thing because if you can see these lashes are already trying to get a little crazy right here. So you don't just want to leave that. You do want to go ahead and grab your mascara and just give it like one or two little little pumps of mascara. One more little tip, if your eye is watering really bad in the inner corner and that lash just keeps flicking up, take the lash off, give it a minute, do a few deep breaths through your nose, and it helps to pull the sinuses back and it kind of helps with the watering. It's not a miracle work. It's not gonna completely stop your eye from water, but it does help to pull the water back in the eye instead of constant dabbing. So you wanna remove the lash, give a few deep breaths. Even if you're doing makeup on a client, tell them, take a few deep breaths through your nose, Let's cool it down, let's calm it down because the sticky, icky, gooey situation with the wet eye and the glue, it just doesn't get better until like the glue is done, it's out of the eye, the eye can have a second to rest and then you just start fresh. And also a little tip, girl, if I have on false lashes and I'm going out, honey, every single time I have a little lash glue in my purse, I don't care where I'm going or for how long I'm being there, Eyeballs are unpredictable. We don't know what's gonna happen. You could literally rub your eye too hard and lift your own lash off. You could have a watery eye that now. You don't know what's gonna happen. And how are you gonna go out the rest of the night with your eyelash flicked on up? Girl. And also, sometimes my friend's lashes may be lifting and I gotta tell them, girl, you got a wonky lash. Manny, you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So if you're wearing false lashes, I just recommend carrying lash glue with you. If you are on set in a professional setting, you wanna carry lash glue that is latex free, which this one is because some clients might be allergic to it, so. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. My personal favorite is the thicker. You guys know I'm a glam girl. You know I like that thick lash. These I literally cannot even feel on my eye. I could wear these lashes every single day and I could sleep in them, although I'm not recommending you do. I can't film on my eye. So they're also available on Ulta.com as well as in stores at Ulta. And if you wanna check out these lashes, you can click the link down below in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some insight. I've gotten so many questions. But that is it for this video, guys. I told you everything I think I have about lashes and I hope I gave you like an up close helpful how to do's and don'ts. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and watching and I will see all of you in my next video. Subscribe to this channel before you leave for more education and fun entertainment.